Yo, hello guys. Welcome to Forex Success. Okay, guys. Today, um, let me let me just first clear my chart. I want to show you this this pattern. This way, I trade. Look, this is step in this. You see this, guys. This is step in this, and I'm trading it right now. As you can see, I'm on a buy. Look at it. Um, on some drawdown right now. So, I will show you and explain to you the reason why I took this buy, so that you can trade like this when there's you see structures like this okay firstly guys make sure you hit the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i drop a new video or a strategy so you can trade and if you don't know what we're trading we're trading on synthetic indices the link is at the description below yeah to create an account on derive so you can start trading synthetic indices where you can find crash and booms and volatility indices so you can start trading okay Let's go back to the main reason for this video. This is step in this. You can see I took a trade for volatility 25 in this and volatility 50, um, 15 in this. These are long term trade I'm going to hold as well as this step in this trade that I am holding. So if you check out all the trades, you got, they all have stop loss level. You can see each of them have a stop loss level. So any trade you are taking, guys, you always need to have a stop loss level so that you will not end up losing more than you are risking so that would be a very poor risk management trading if you watch this trade right you can spot out the trend line right here so guys i'll just take you straight to the higher time frame which is firstly the daily time frame you can see it's on an uptrend and if you move down to the four hour time frame if you move down to the four hour time frame guys you notice that this um is also an uptrend the market is moving strictly on an uptrend so we are expected to trade in that um, direction of the trend which is towards the upside though that's not enough to take a position if you move to the one hour time frame where i got the reason to take this sell you find out that guys the market has been moving to the upside and we can get a resistance level which was broken right here whereby resistance became support right now that is expected to hold this market back to the upside and the market has started giving us some reversal candles pattern which indicates that it's going to start to reverse from this pullback this retracement that we had which is why we took the buy position you can get that guy so this is a resistant level let me just take a uh a horizontal line and mark this out so guys this zone right here it's a resistance zone we get a resistance zone right here so what we are expecting is that this market is gonna bounce and go back to the upside that is the prediction putting a stop loss below it that is in case it doesn't do as we predicted it will hit stop loss but if it do as it as we predicted if the market goes our way we'll have a lot of pips to cut because we'll be taking profit around the previous high you can see we'll be taking profit around the 8650 that would be about um 26 pips in profit but if it hits the stop loss it would be about seven pips loss so that's how you just keep on trading because you when you have a good strategy and you know how to trade you have more to win and if you win more you definitely will be having uh, more money in your account at the end of the day or at the end of the week so that's basically the basics of trading there is no other big thing behind it it's just you risk less to gain more if you don't have a risk management that is if you don't have a stop loss level then it's just like you are gambling it's just like you are playing um casino and all that other gambling um game you know so that's just the difference between trading you can see so for me now i can clearly say that the market want to start moving to the upside you can see it didn't hit my stop loss if it hits the stop loss then i know okay i lost this one but if it moves yeah it's a win for me so that just you just put that resistance support and resistance level you can see i'm not using any indicator on this chart right now you just put that your support and resistance level seeing that this market is moving to the upside so the first thing should come to your mind is that this is a retracement continuation of the uptrend exactly so that's what we be expecting right here 
on this market and if you go to a lower time frame like the 30 minute time frame you can see the market has been gathering itself ranging right here so we are expecting it to push to the upside but if it breaks to the downside which means it's gonna continue to sell to the downside so it then it hits stop loss but if it moves continue to move to the upside which our prediction says is gonna go to the upside then we we'll have a lot of profit to catch so that's it always trade with stop losses good risk management so i'm opening about six positions right here which actually because this is this account is somehow big but if it was a small account like 100 200 dollars at least i would have opened just one or two positions with the minimum um lot size so you don't over risk your account so that you have many um opportunities like you just need to risk a very small percent of your account on each trade that you are taking risk management guys is the key to better trading for you to be successful in this business you need to understand good risk management so that will be all for now guys make sure you use the link at the description below and the link at the comment section to create a derive account so you can start trading synthetic indices thank you for watching this guys and this is Forex success.